Hi everybody, my name is LMNOP and welcome back to Resident Evil Village Part 3. If you have not seen Parts 1 and 2, please check those videos out before continuing as this video will contain spoilers for the remainder of the game. So where we left off, we just met Lady Dimitrescu and oh my god, like just so pretty. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the castle. Let's see if we can find a way out. So one thing I think is really, really cool about this game is I think this is the same save room music that was in the first Resident Evil. And I don't know, it's just very calming and just awesome. It brings back a lot of memories. To make a purchase? Yes. Oh, I can get inventory space. I feel like inventory space is super, super, super valuable at the very beginning. So let's sell some stuff. And get some inventory space. Anything. All right, we got some inventory Anything, space. That'll be friend. really, really, really important. Ah, so you noticed that? Please come again. Wait, I noticed what? Norshitan's Labyrinths. I know I butchered that name. A craftsman of the late nineteenth century was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. He then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on the hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specialty crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be his four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. Well, that's not terrifying at all. Can I look at this? You can't use that here. That's really pretty. All right, let's see. What all do I have in my inventory? I've got a knife. I've got some bullets. So, not too much here. I got an eyeball. Eyeballs are nice. We like eyeballs. All right, let's go see what we have out here. Looks like we have two, four, one, two. So I think we're looking at stuff to get out. So let's go find some stuff. Anything I can collect out here would be nice. Oh, <laughs> I broke the plate. Let's kind of go explore. Let's go exploring, let's go exploring. And hopefully not die. Please don't eat me. Pretty please. Ooh, thank you. All right, we're going back up the stairs. Wouldn't it be pretty to have a house like this? I feel like this would be really pretty. Ooh, wine room. I like wine. Regina Rose, Regina Rosie. I guess that's supposed to be like a rosé. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet particular technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguis Virginis meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. I have a feeling that's a wine that's made with actual blood. And you know what? I don't think I'd want to drink that one. You know, I'll try anything once, but I don't think I'd try that. I don't see any here, though. Like, I'm seeing a lot of the rosé. I guess I need to have a wine bottle to put there. A special bottle adorned with flowers. Yeah, so I need to, um, I need to get a bottle. All right, so we're looking for a wine bottle to put there. I'm guessing that might open up to a secret room or something. Ooh, anything? Nah. How about you? Hey, I got some monies. Money, money, honey. Oh! You don't look scary at all. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. Well, you have fun with that. Let me string you up. Slice your just. How line, about not? Which would you prefer? Ooh. I can't hold back any longer. Yeah, you can. Woo! What? Why were there bugs coming out of my hand? Like, one hand is already, like, sitting like this because he's had half his hand eaten off, and now this side has bugs just popping out of it. Can I go home? Can I just get my baby and go home? June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. Yeah, you know now if people tell me they don't bite, I'm going to assume they're a vampire. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little afraid. Another maiden, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. If my boss slashed my face with a knife, I'm retaliating. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it, shut it, shut it now, they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. That's pretty music. I don't know if I quite want to go that way yet. She a tall lady. She is a tall, tall, tall lady. Oh my gosh. What were you listening to though? It was pretty. Don't you come back in here. What am I going to do though? She's towers over me. She's like 10 feet tall. Hey, I can bust that. Thank you. Let me actually reload my guns so that way I'm ready for when something comes and actually tries to eat me. Okay, we're ready. Let's Trust and light. Do I light them? This ain't working. I did it! This is a lot more difficult than it looks. Or at least for me. Am I crouched? No, I'm not crouched. I'm just really short. Whoa. That's intricate. This ain't creepy at all. Hey, there's a toilet. If I need one. I'm gonna have this out just in case. It's covered in dry blood. Oh god, there's buckets under it. Oh, is this the draining halls? Oh, this is kind of gross. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Say I missed something back there. All right, let's see. This is really gross. 
It is a draining hall. Irina, robust appetite. Michaela, robust appetite. Lois, robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. Ah! Why do we hear growling now? Something's going to eat me. Isn't it? Where you at? Ah! Where is it? I hear it. <laughs> They're coming in with me, but I'm going to take that. Give me that. I got a pipe bomb. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Alright, let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. Ah! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Woo! No! Let me up, 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 let me up. Oh my god, I can't go that way, can I? No, I do not have that. Did I get everything? Definitely did not. There's some rooms I didn't even go into. I believe Cassandra caused all this mess. Oh god, and now I got another one. No! <laughs> Bug lady, go away! Bug lady, go away! You're you're pretty at a distance. You're pretty at a different different. Di da, da, da. You are pretty at a distance. At a distance. At a distance. Six feet. Which tools do you prefer? Ah! Oh, what's that? I'll take. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Where are you going, little one? I... I like being called little one, but not like this. Bullets cannot harm. But sunlight can. Stupid man thing. I have pissed her off. I won't forget. Give you, you bastard! Yeah. Uh, how dare you bear your teeth at us? Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay. Ow! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh, she's so angry! She's so angry! Come on! That sounds gross! There's no way that that was that easy. There's no way that that was that easy. There's no way that that was that easy. Is that really that easy? Is she gone? Are you really gone? Is she really gone? I found the bottle! Alright. All right. Okay. Um, ugh. So, his hand is very, very much not there. And uh, he's picking up bloody things he's gonna be like so infected and so gross and Ugh. another one was sent to the cellar she had only spilt some soup 
Everyone knows what happens when you're sent to the cellar. You're never seen again. They drain your blood, your soul cursed to wander the halls. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones and gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. Why was she gnawing on a rat carcass? Was she that hungry, or did they turn her? Now that just doesn't sound very pleasant at all. I need a lockpick. Lockpick? Ooh. Can I combine it? <gasps> nice. Hey, I got a lockpick. Let's go get this one open. What's in here? I'm not a petty thief. What's that? I guess something I can sell. That'll be nice. All right, where am I at? That's a courtyard, I'm assuming. Is that how I escaped the castle? Can't break that. What about you? Anything? Can I break these windows? I can. I wonder if that's, like, we have to keep that in mind for when we fight the ones later. Okay. I hope this one makes it. Ha <laughs> ha Isn't that cute? All right, we need to go up to the very top, and then I'm pretty sure, let me make sure all my guns are loaded. Yeah, we're good. Um, we can put the bottle in the wine room. What are you going to do? Oh! Stigger room. I'll take that. What's in here? Courtyard key. Courtyard key. I know where the courtyard is. It's this way, isn't it? Shall I give you the tour? No! I knew it was too good to be true! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a different one. How's it feel? This is another sister. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Courtyard key. Yeah? Now let me out. Come at me! I don't think they can come at me out here. At least I, I don't think they can. I don't have anything for that. There's not a door? What about here? You know she can smell me. She's leading me into something, and I don't want to be a part of it. her off I've pissed her off okay this is definitely vampire-esque do I have to get in that I don't really want to get in that yeah no Nothing's in here? No, nothing's in here. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Okay. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. All right, so hmm. they'll take their chances. I did it. Women are blind, so they can't look at the men. Look at us go. Now we're going down into the, I'm assuming the cellar. What the hell? There's a lot of blood down here. Those are collectibles. I missed one in the first part because I said not to break it. Oh, shoot. I feel kind of bad. Oh, jeez. Yeah, give me all the parts. I'll take that. It's really gross. What was that? What was that? <laughs> ah! Wait. Why am I getting the option to barricade that way? You need to brush your teeth. that work? Woo. Hey, at least I'm picking up stuff I can sell. Hey, we're out. kind of gross. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Like, look out there. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, I don't care for snow. I'm okay without the snow, but it's pretty out here. I'm assuming we are in Romania. So we have a save room. Anything? Nope. 
sounds like a phone. It is a phone. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him, no, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. ceremony. I won't let you down. Oh, oh. To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done. She mad! She's mad at me! She's very angry with me. Holy crap, so this is how tall she is. I come up to her butt. Her butt. She is tall. We were all called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I am treated like a sister to those miscreants, especially Heisenberg. That riffraff wouldn't know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughters, everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. I feel like that on most occasions, sweetie. I understand. Rose, where are you? I got a key! Now we can unlock those doors. Ah! There you are. All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do you... Ah! You ungrateful, selfish wretch. You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters. And now you even try to steal my property. How dare you. I missed Rest something in that room, didn't I? Because I will hunt you, and I will break you! Go ahead, do your worst. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't coax her, don't taunt her. Let's just go, let's get the baby and go. It doesn't have to be this dramatic. Why is everybody so fucking dramatic? She's gonna eat me. She's pretty and all, but I don't want to get eaten. That's not the life I chose. Well, I pissed her off. I think that's a fabulous place to end part three. I've already pissed off Lady Dimitrescu, but I have taken out one of the daughters, and I'm kind of surprised at how easy that fight was. I think we're gonna have to focus on where the windows are. I think that's our only bet of getting out of this castle. But if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please press that like button, ring that bell, and subscribe. That way you get notifications for when part four come out. As always, thank you guys so much for the support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!